I asked you guys for your spiciest confessions. I'm not really sure what I meant by spicy in this context. I'll see what I get. But like last time, it's only fair that I am also a mess <laughs> and confess. I've got quite a big thing <laughs> to tell you. How am I even going to say this? Okay, just make sure you're sitting down. My confession is that the golden pig is smashed. <gasps> he has a hole in his ass. I spent so long super gluing this entire ass back together. But the shocking thing is how the golden pig got smashed. You might remember a certain April Fool's photo. <laughs> well, after taking it, I stood up and backed into the golden pig with my bare ass. <gasps> I'm sorry. You'll never be able to look at it in the same way again. This was one of the greatest mistakes of my life. But turns out I am quite a good pig gluer because from this angle, who would know? That's what I deserved. For taking that photo anyway. Oh, I feel lighter. I feel free. And hopefully so do all of you having confessed in my Instagram DMs. To be honest, this video is a fraud and I just did this whole thing to be nosy. But I'm sure it'll be therapeutic for you as well. And this was the first thing in my inbox. I'm done. That's it. Don't want to do confessions anymore. You've ruined it. <laughs> right, I'm just going to take five minutes to catch my breath. No, it's okay. I actually for real lost my virginity watching Phil is Not On Fire 4. <laughs> this is meant to be confessions, not give Phil psychic damage video. Why? And you did it watching the worst Phil is not on fire. I'm gonna say this one is mid. Is <laughs> that why? You got bored? Disgusting. I pretended to be asleep when my ex-boyfriend said he loved me. <laughs> oh no! That's so sad. He's lying there looking at you resting like you're like an angel or something and goes, I love you. And you're just like... I mean, sometimes you're just not ready to respond to that. So props to you for not just saying thanks, which would be a thousand times worse. I have a dental fetish. <laughs> What is that a thing? I guess it's a thing for everyone. I can't think of anything less sexy than going to the dentist, let alone how you must look from the dentist's perspective with your mouth all open as they're scraping on your gums and you're crying. I do not relate, and I'm not usually one to yuck someone's yum, but I don't get it. Or maybe you just want someone to dress as the tooth fairy. Which other side note freaked me out as a kid. Why do you want my teeth, woman? What are you doing with them? I don't want you under my pillow. Do I just lay awake terrified waiting for someone to take my teeth? Just please just tell me there's not a drill in your bedside drawer. Or you just want to slosh one of those pots of green mouthwash while you make out. I don't get it. That was a good drill impression. I should be a, a drill. <laughs> what? I had to go to the emergency room after doing things with a candle. Are we thinking the candle went in somewhere or it got a bit too drippy? Because either way, that has the potential. <laughs> Potential to be painful. I pooped in a Ziploc bag while I was showering at church camp. <laughs> Why the Ziploc? Did you want to keep it for later? Could you not have just gone behind a bush? Why are we keeping it fresh for later? I'm scared. I don't want to know anymore. I'm going to move on. At church camp as well. God was watching. At my old job, I was <laughs> sometimes steal forks from the kitchen. I have 12. How many forks are you trying to reach before they call the army? I feel like you can stop. You got a full set now. Nobody needs more than 12 forks. And no, that doesn't mean you can move on to spoons. They're watching. <laughs> oh, oh, I created an OnlyFans and got just one OnlyFan. You got one? It's better than none. I'm hoping it wasn't an immediate friend that felt sorry for you, but you gotta start somewhere. I only had about five subscribers for a month and I'd only made 10 videos. So one paid subscription, I think it's still something to be proud of. <laughs> My tummy hurts and I'm not being brave about it. Let's just stop for a second. That's really brave of you to admit. I would give you a Rennie if I could. Just pull that blanket over the sore tum. Give you a pat on the head. Turn down the lights. Leave you a drink. It's gonna be okay. Bowser was, and still is, my childhood crush. I mean, valid. I'd let him kidnap me, to be honest. Immediately followed by someone else, I think Luigi is hot as hell. <laughs> With crying faces. See, these are the reasons why you shouldn't let people see your internet history. And I have the perfect thing to help you, which is the lovely and returning sponsor of my videos, NordVPN. Thank you, you legendary beasts. But Billy, I hear you clawing at the screen. What does a VPN stand for? Various pencils? I should have thought about this. Nice. No. It is a virtual private network. A NordVPN just lives in the corner of your browser like a little friend. Firstly, you can instantly teleport to a different country at the click of a button. Good eye. There's something I want to watch on this streaming service in Australia. I'm instantly with the koalas. Same goes for whatever you want in the world. Japan with the anime. America's got loads of different shows on Netflix. Great. We'll see what it's like to be British on the internet. It's very different over here. You can also protect your browser from any snoopers. And you can use the same account to protect your entire phone as well, just on the tap of an app. So I've got an exclusive deal just for you. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash amazingphil for two years plus 
four extra months for free. That's a lot of months. So give it a click and grab yourself a slice of Nord. Thanks, lads. My friend stole a bottle of champagne I got for graduation, so I slept with her dad. <laughs> what? These are spicy. Wow. There's always that one friend that escalates things too far, and I feel like you might have done that slightly in this scenario. <laughs> that was either a really nice bottle of champagne or a really hot dad. Either way, I kind of want more information. Do you think they ever found out? What is that conversation gonna be? I'm gonna break up with my fiance who I've been with for nearly six years. Oh my gosh, that is deep. People are really dropping bombshells in this inbox. Why are you telling me this on Instagram? I mean, if you're not happy, it's better to break up now than getting married and being unhappy. There will be another fish out there for you. It'll be sad, but everyone will eventually get over it. But good luck and vibes to you. I had a friend whose whole family of six used the same toothbrush. Oh, no. I need to wash my mouth out just thinking about that. Ah. We need to show this to the dentist person. <laughs> That's gonna turn them right off their teeth flakes. I think, what? I have an AI boyfriend. Don't have any interest in the IRL, love. You're not sure if the AI person you're speaking to is real. I mean, I know it's coming a long way, but this is a worry. I mean, I get it. This kind of unlocked something within me. Maybe I'm this close to getting a full AI body pillow. Boop. Oh no, I inverted it. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I enjoy the feeling of holding in my pee. There's some things you can keep in the drafts. I... What? Surely it's nicer to release all the pee you've been holding. Like if you've been stuck in a car for four hours, the release is better than the holding. Surely. I've thought about this too much. I just found out my ex was asking guys for <laughs> on Reddit while we were dating. What is this? <laughs> Am I too innocent? Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't put that in the video. <laughs> I can't, I can't even say what it was. Well, I understand now why they are ex. If they were doing that on the side. I need some eye bleach. I was not ready to see what I just saw. I'm 31 years old and I still believe that One Direction will get back together someday. Look, everyone said the gaming channel wasn't coming back after the hiatus and look at us now. We're thriving. You are Thrive. supposed to rake it so that it looks like ripples coming out from the- I bought an entire gaming PC just to romance a slutty vampire. Ah, I'm romancing Gale the Handsome Wizard over the slutty vampire, but it was a close call. We've already had quite a spiritual sexy moment. Though when I installed that game, I was not prepared to immediately select my own piece. It was a lot, especially after I accidentally removed all my clothes at the camp. Those were some cutscenes. A lot of bouncing. Piss. I swear whenever I do one of these, I just get a piss. I'd almost be sad if I didn't at this rate. I did a drag performance dressed as Dan Howell with a cardboard U as a prop. <laughs> Why did I have to be the cardboard prop? Firstly, I have to see this. Secondly, I know which cardboard fills are out there and either way, that's gonna have ended up horrifying. I was sending, spicy, pics to my boyfriend and I accidentally sent them to my aunt. No, stop it. What is that conversation gonna be like? If you're sending people spicy texts, which you probably shouldn't because they could lose their phone or their aunt could end up seeing it. It's a whole thing. You need to put a chili emoji next to their name in your phone book or something. So you're not mixing up Adam with auntie or they'll be seeing you in that dentist outfit holding a drippy candle. <laughs> I say Phil and Dan instead of Dan and Phil. Wow, way to collapse the universe. I think actually originally we did call some things Phil and Dan. And it just sounds weird. I knew it sounded weird then. I just said it because it was my channel stuff was going on. Philandan. Sounds like some kind of breed of flat fish they found in a nature documentary. The rare Philandan. My cat boy is pregnant. What do I do? Sometimes I ask myself, do I regret making the cat boy merch? And then I get, <laughs> and then I get a DM like this. Looks like someone's going to invest in some kitty litter. Maybe a big ball of yarn as well. <laughs> Someone has just sent me their x-ray. Not creepy at all. Great spine structure. Mine's a little bit bendy, just like me. Imagine if my spine was actually straight. I'd be like six foot seven tall. I'm not a fan of tea. You know what I'm saying? Most herbal teas just taste like watery flower piss to me. <laughs> If I'm being honest, farmer here. <laughs> Unexpected surprise. I let all my crops die last season. Now I'm homeless. On purpose? By mistake? Can you grow some more? Maybe you need to diversify. Corn maze. Mini golf course. On your dead patch of crops. I hope it gets better for you and your crops thrive and flourish. I'm manifesting a good yield on the farm. I've been faking my personality for 12 years because I was told I was too much. Oh, that's one of those things where someone said something that's really hit home. Don't hold back your personality. You're never too much. I mean, some people can be a bit much, but you shouldn't be squeezing yourself into a shell that you don't belong in. That's just always gonna end up in misery. If people can't handle your true self, then they don't deserve to be around you. And I've said it, and now it's a fact. I'm a freshman in college and I've used the Dan and Phil backpack since it came out. Same, I mean, I'm not a freshman in college, but I still use my Dan and Phil backpack. The quality is great and I get compliments for its shininess. 
all the time. Look, she's still going strong. Not even a scratch on it. Should we go old school YouTube? What's in my bag? Oh, nothing. I thought I had some stuff in here. Anything? Hello? Oh. I got a mask. Eye drops. Oh, hello. That's where it is. I lost this pen. My fave. Oh. I've got literally no proper friends and I don't know what to do. That's really sad. It sucks to be lonely. And I'm sorry that you're feeling that way. I was actually incredibly lonely in my fourth year of uni because everyone had moved away. I don't know your circumstances, so I can't really give advice. But in general, I'd say, did you have a friendship that's kind of drifted? Because you could reach out to those people and be like, hi, I miss you. Can we see each other? And if not, it's really stressful, but you've got to put yourself out there just a little bit. In London, I've seen loads of slightly nerdy clubs popping up, like Dungeons & Dragons, board game clubs, where people can go on their own and meet new people. So there could be something like that in your town, if, if you have a search. But also, this month, this year, is not your whole life. So just know there is a chance in the future you will find a friend or two, and things will get better for you. It might be at a new job, it might be through someone else you know. You don't know what's around the corner, so don't give up hope. I shaved an eyebrow slit because of you, and my family don't know, and I... <laughs> <laughs> I have a fringe to cover it. I was gonna say I'm a terrible influence, but I don't think so. I think my slit looks good. And I'm sure yours does too. Slit bros. Okay, I ruined it. I'm so deeply in love with my boyfriend, but he eats his eye crusties. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, no, you've ruined it. I don't- I don't need to know this. Now you've ruined my day and everyone else that watched this video. Ugh. He needs an ultimatum about that. Why is there multiple eye crusties available to snack on? It's done. You've ruined it again. It's ruined. It's over. We're finished. I gotta close the box now for a while. Hope you all feel a little lighter after hearing how effed up everyone's lives are. <laughs> if you've got any mild confessions you don't mind sharing with the world, leave them in the comments below. It might be therapeutic. Thank you to my bae NordVPN for sponsoring this video. If you want to grab my deal, go to nordvpn.com forward slash amazing Phil. And if you wanted to get a little Philly friend for your shelf, now is your final chance as on Sunday they're gone Forever. So you can go to youtube.com and grab yourself a little fill. He'll bring you luck, but he'll not water your plants. Check out Dab and Evan having a honeymoon in Japan over on the gaming chan. They are full wang out in the middle of what appears to be a residential yeah. neighborhood. Subscribe to my channel if you want more of this mayhem. Have a lovely day and don't use the same toothbrush as your entire family. Goodbye.